What's up everybody, it's Easy for you know the Clash of Clans video. We are in Murder Inc. on the Too Easy Road Trip series. Going for win 420. That's right, 420. What an accomplishment to get up to 400 wins, 420 wins. Uh, got, got a couple great replays in this video. I know there's a lot of stuff going on right now. We've got the updates coming on. They're not coming on, they're going on. I've got a, got a lot going on personally, so I haven't really been putting out videos. Uh, got back into town last night, so got a couple of uh, got a couple of things recorded. So we're gonna go put them out there. Uh, first attacks from Hard Knocks, and this clan they love using the Hog Riders. I think um, it, when you look at these clans that have the three and four hundred wins, they are all good at Laloon and Goho or variations of them. So that tells you guys out there that if your clan is using hog riders or balloons, then you can build up these wins like these elite clans do. But you have to not suck too. You actually have to win with these instead of doing what Easy does and getting 42%. <laughs> so Hard Knox comes in, and, and look at look at how much they, he takes out with the kill squad. He's got a queen walk. Uh, the 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 healers actually shifted to the barbarian king at this point. And he's just pounding away, and, and he's got not about half the base left by the time the hog riders come in. Um, brings the hog riders in the back side of the base. Hasn't even paid attention in town hall yet. So you, you know that, uh, you know, you don't have to immediately go for town hall when it's on the outside of the walls. Uh, you know, we, we, as a town hall 9, when you're attacking a town hall 9, especially up in the, the level 13, 14 clan, you know that all the town hall 9s have to go down. So you don't have to start off and take out Town Hall. It's gonna it, you can get it at the end of the attack. Uh, also, if you notice, he did a really good job of keeping all of the traps off of his hog riders. He ends up with one defense left by the time the hogs died, or two left, something like that. So um, a good idea would be instead of instead of using two poison spells on the clan castle troops, um, if you time the clan castle troops, or you, if you either a pull them or you time the 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 collision with your troops at the same time as you use your rage spell you can actually hold off on one of the poison spells and use it on the skeletons that are chasing around the hog riders those skeletons are the hog riders worst enemy so next one was too easy this is a town hall 10 but if you look at it it doesn't have the town hall 10 elite defense it doesn't have the inferno towers uh, when I was looking at this attack, I was actually debating on using Laloon La because look at the air defenses. They're, they're a little underdeveloped, but uh, th I feel like the, the clan Murder Inc. hasn't seen the flex attack much, so I'm trying to use it as much as I can. Uh, I, I feel like every clan should have an attack like the flex. I know a lot of people use the slap, which is a very similar attack, but um, for Town Hall 9, I think all... I'm, I, I, I feel all t all Town Hall 9 should have this attack under their belt too. It's probably the best ground attack there is. And maybe I'm biased because our clan came up with it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, th the whole idea with the flex is that you keep those those walks on the outside. And so w you'll see here on the bottom, the bowlers went inside the base. So now the healers, they, they won't stick with the bowlers. They'll kind of uh, shift back and forth. Uh, now this can work to your advantage because if they keep everyone alive, of course that's great. But sometimes they will shift onto, especially if you use golems. I mean, I don't know. I think there should be a red flag whenever you have golems in your attack and you're using healers too. For whatever reason, if the golems come anywhere close to the healers, that's what the healers end up on. So, uh, but in this case, they ended up on the giants, and giants are a huge asset uh, in the flex. Uh, and look that there's I don't know most of them alive at the back end of the attack now when the Giants live That's when this attack is so powerful uh, most of the time this attack You'll you'll hollow out the middle and then have to take out the outside uh, You know the outside trash buildings and defenses with the Queen walk or the bowler walk But when those Giants live through the whole attack uh, you end up having 20 or 30 troops left like I did so pretty good attack from too easy Which I was happy about uh, just on a personal note because whenever you come into a clan uh, it's a lot harder to come off and pull off a three-star. I don't know why, but there's this added pressure, I guess. And uh, so being able to three-star was uh, 
pretty important to me. So next attack, and going back to the elite three star attacks, this is another one that if you're if you are uh, Town Hall nine, you have to get the bowlers donated to you. But Town Hall ten and eleven, I mean, this is a huge attack. Uh, again, this is kind of a hybrid attack of Laloon using bowlers in the clan castle, but in his case, he, he's a Town Hall 11, so he can bring the bowlers with him. And I think I see uh, the, the fire around all those heroes, so he's got max heroes. So as we're watching the attack unfold, this is a, a word about the heroes. When you are scouting the enemy clan, the first thing I look at is the hero levels in the top five. And you know that if you are dealing with all max heroes in the top five, then you are in for a hard time. <laughs> uh, that just that tells you that their top end, they're doing the right thing. Max heroes, they really, out of everything in the game, you can max your defenses, you can max the walls, you can max your troops. But if you max your heroes, that is the biggest asset in, in an attack by far. I know it's only, you know, in a Town Hall 11, there's only three of them, there's only three heroes. But, especially when you come down the, to the Archer Queen, she has so much power once you get to the max level. And then you'll use the Queen, a lot of people will use the Queen and the, and the Grand Warden together. And, uh, you know, you want to use the Grand Warden's ability on a mass amount of troops. But it's still a good idea to keep him next to the Queen because then you can keep her alive. Uh, that's another kind of um, uh, safety for the Queen. So now you have the rage spells to keep her alive, then you have her ability to keep her alive, then you have the warden's ability to keep her alive, and that can really prolong her. Now I've talked all the way through Chorn's attack, I have to do that at least once a video, but what a great attack. Now this is a hard attack to do in Town Hall 11, I, I'm not I'm not good at it. I know a lot of guys in our clan, we, we do it often uh, in damage, but we just, um, we don't have enough consistency at the top end. I know Town Hall 9s, we do really well with it. But at Town Hall 11, there's, just so, there's four crossbows that can be set to air. Uh, you have the Eagle Artillery that can, that, that can just beat up any of the troops. And then you have two Infernal Towers. So there's so many things other than the air defenses. And of course, the air defenses are the biggest enemy for these balloons. But um, Chorn came in and, and made it look like uh, he was attacking a Town Hall 9. <laughs> so breaking into the last attack, this is kind of a short video. I kept, I kept these next two videos kind of short because we have all the updates stuff coming on. And uh, I said that again, coming on. I guess uh, I've got that on the brain. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we have so much up update stuff coming going on. Jesus, why is he? Uh, that uh, I've actually got a, a huge video I made, and I guess you know, 49 minutes is not acceptable these days. That's actually a, f um, a movie, not a video. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to break that up. Uh, probably gonna hold off. On um, on the actual sneak peeks because there's I'm thinking we, we should leave that to the guys that have the builder tablets and let them do all the sneak peeks and then after everything's out then we can start breaking down all the new stuff and, and kind of going over what's good what's not good and I think that's a more viable thing for the smaller youtubers like myself to do so Big J coming in now there's a now because I'm new in Murder Inc. There's Jake and Big Jake. I don't know if they're the same person, but um, they have the same results. These guys, uh, I, between the two of them, they usually. I, I've been in uh, three wars now, and I don't think he's missed a star yet. Uh, and using the Hog Riders, and, and again using the Hog Riders in that t on a top level base. And this is a common base. This this base design right here is all over the place. And there's a reason for it because it's not easy. I mean, it's not a it's, this is not a blow through type base at all. Um, they separate the they separated the Tesla towers, which is not I'm not a big fan of that. We all know that that I like to keep all four of them together. Uh, I think that's a breaking point on a lot of attacks. Um, and uh, and something else, you notice that he didn't bring the hog riders in the back end of the base. He he followed up the troops with the hog riders. And so I'm seeing that more and more where you'll have the troops come in clear out all the giant bombs clear out all the traps And then you'll bring those hog riders in from the back side of them of the troops instead of the back side of the base and meeting in the middle And it's been working really well um, It's something that I've never really done a lot of but I have been seeing it a lot more lately So uh, great job great attack by Big Jake uh, Six stars this war. I believe we got six stars in the next war too 
Uh, the guys get it done. 420 wins. Uh, I'm just what an accomplishment to get 420 wins. Can't say enough about the guys. They're a cool, cool group of guys too. Uh, you know, it's one of those things that I I'm, I go from clan to clan to make these videos, but this is another one of those clans that I could hang out with for in a long for a long time. So, um, congrats to the guys! Huge win, 420. Uh, so, end of the video. Do me a favor, sub to the channel, guys. Like the videos. Uh, keep me going. We are we're, we're uh, just thank you for all the positive input that I'm getting. Uh, I really do appreciate it makes a big difference for me to keep motivated and keep going forward so uh, also check out the website we are in the process of adding all of the new stuff it's like a job I mean I literally stay up all night long doing this crap my boss doesn't like it and oh well uh, <laughs> anyway so appreciate everyone enjoyed making the video hope you enjoyed watching it till next time it's been easy take care everybody <laughs>